Hello, this is 6.5 volume conversions of gases. So here we are going to convert moles to volume. Uh, given that you are going to find the volume of a gas that is at 0 centigrade, which is called standard temperature, and 1 atmosphere, which is called standard pressure. You can also convert uh, volume to particles and mass and moles uh, based on this system like before. So here is where we are in the scale of the topics. And um, to show you where we are in the concept map, we are in this section. So we can convert uh, volume of a given substance in a balanced equation to its moles and then to the moles of the other thing or the mass, par number of particles or volume using these three factors. So this is the factor we are going to learn today. So we are going to look at four types of problems. The first one is a volume to moles conversion followed by a volumes to particle. A third one will be a volumes to mass and the fourth one will be volume to volume where you will have the same factor twice but flipped on the two ends. Okay. So how do you do these conversions? Again, you balance the equation just like before and then uh, you have to look into the problem and see if it's talking about the standard temperature. And So standard temperature is either 0 centigrade, also in a different unit, it's 273 Kelvin. Sometimes I may write 273.14, which is more precise. You guys re remember just 273. Now that you have to memorize. The standard pressure is one atmosphere. It's a pressure unit. And so under STP, standard temperature and pressure, one mole of any gas occupies a 22.4 liter volume inside a closed container. I need you to remember this. So when the volume of a gas is mentioned at STP, then only then can you use the one mole is equal to 22.4 liters conversion factor. Then you do the rest just like before. So let's look at a problem. So if there are four moles of NH3 gas, ammonia gas in a container, uh, calculate the following uh, volumes and moles volume at standard temperature and pressure you know that if it's one mole it's going to be 22.4 liters so this will be four times that and the volume at 29 centigrade and 1 atm how will you do that yes you can't calculate it because this is not standard temperature remember that some problems i will ask you the wrong temperature or the wrong pressure and ask you to calculate the volume and then you just cannot. So let's go to part one, moles to volume conversions. Here is my problem. Uh, calculate the chemical, uh, a chemical reaction with H2 gas and N2 gas is carried out at zero centigrade and a pressure of one atmosphere. So this is STP inside a sealed container and here is your reaction and you're going to balance it and you are supposed to calculate the volume of ammonia needed you're supposed to calculate the volume of ammonia uh, produced from 20.75 moles of nitrogen gas so you're going to first start with the given value you need to cancel moles of nitrogen gas so you put moles of nitrogen gas here and you have to go to the other thing which is this guy so you're going to put the mole mole ratio and then you need to cancel moles of ammonia so you put moles of ammonia at the bottom and here you put one mole of ammonia is equal to 22.4 liters and then you can cancel moles of ammonia and your answer will be this much and it's going to be 929.6 liters of nitrogen um, ammonia. Let's look at another question. So it, this is part two of the same question. How many moles of nitrogen gas is needed to react with 200.52 liters of H2 gas? 
you're going to start with the given value like so you need to cancel liters of hydrogen so you put uh, liters of hydrogen at the bottom and what goes with that is 22.4 liters which is equal to one mole of H2 you need to cancel one mole so you here is where you put the mole ratio of ammonia to hydrogen hydrogen is 3 and ammonia is 2 sorry my mistake you are supposed to do nitrogen gas so it will be one mole right here and then you can cancel hydrogen moles and here is your answer you just fish out the numbers and do the calculation this is just like before just you use a different factor now let's look at volume and particles and volume and mass conversions the first one is asking how many uh, NH, N2 molecules are needed to make 12.5 liters of ammonia gas so you're going to start with the 12.5 liters of ammonia gas and you're going to put 22.4 liters of ammonia gas at the bottom over one mole of ammonia gas these two cancels out and then you put moles of ammonia here you're going to put moles of ammonia and moles of nitrogen on top and then you have to go to molecules so you're going to convert moles of nitrogen into molecules one mole nitrogen is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules and the nitrogen moles cancels out you fish out the numbers on the top and this is what you get and the answer is 1.68 times 10 to the 23 molecules of nitrogen let's look at a mass calculation so calculate the mass of ammonia gas produced from 2.93 liters of nitrogen gas. So whenever I say mass, you have to find the molar mass, right? So you're going to find the molar mass. Nitrogen is 14 grams per mole. So you have one mole. That means 14. And hydrogen is one gram per mole. You have three moles. So that's three grams when you add them together you get 17 grams per mole so then you start your calculation with the given value this one and then you put 22.4 liters to cancel liters of nitrogen over one mole of nitrogen then you put moles of nitrogen over here this is where you go to the mole mole ratio between the two things one mole nitrogen gas the, uh, over two moles ammonia then you cancel out nitrogen gas you need to cancel ammonia moles you want to go to ammonia particles so you're going to put one mole of ammonia is equal to not particles grams 17 grams of ammonia now moles of ammonia cancels out and you have grams of ammonia on the top and you fish out these numbers and you multiply them and then divide them by 22.4 liters you get this gram amount so that is your answer so last part volume to volume calculations the last question is asking how many liters of hydrogen gas is required to produce 2.73 liters of ammonia so it's between this one and this one you're going to start with the given value and then you multiply it by a factor with 22.4 liters of ammonia at the bottom and one mole ammonia at the top so you can cancel liters of ammonia then in the next factor you'll have to have moles of ammonia at the bottom and you are going to go to the moles of the other one to the moles moles bridge from the balanced equation and this one will be 2 and this one will be 3 moles of ammonia cancels out you need to get rid of moles of hydrogen and go to volume of hydrogen so then you have to multiply by this factor and then moles of H2 cancels out you fish out the values and you multiply these things on the top by the two numbers at the bottom and then you divide them by each other you get 4.1 liters of H2 and that's it so these calculations are exactly like what you did before 
only thing is you have a different factor one mole is equal to 22.4 liters of a gas at standard temperature and pressure so let's look at how to do these calculations a review and that is it for now